Okay, so this is like the most requested tutorial or something for me to show you guys what I do. Um, and it's basically how I get my signature look, which is like a soft glam look, um, minus a few things. So I will show you from start to finish how I achieve almost all of the looks that I do. Um, and there are different variations of how I can rev it up or rev it down. So I'm just gonna give you what I go to my basics of it and we'll start now so I've already washed my face it's clean it's a little bit dry I have more normal skin um, it will get a little bit oilier throughout the day but nothing drastic nothing where I have to wipe my face off so I have normal skin and I prefer more gel moisturizers so I'm going to go in with my Tarte H2O moisturizer and go ahead and just put that all over my face. I really like this one. It feels good on the skin. It's cooling. I live in Florida, uh, so it's not heavy at all. And I make sure to really hydrate my under eyes because that can help with creasing. So I'm going to let this dry down and make sure it's fully absorbed before I move to my priming step. Okay, so now for my next step, I'm going to go ahead and use my Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. And just make sure it's all over. So now that my Too Faced Hangover Primer is soaked in and it's fairly dry, my skin is a little bit tacky still which is good I'm gonna go in with my milk makeup blur stick and this just helps to smooth out any unevenness that I have through here as far as texture so I'm just gonna go through like that and then roll it in So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows first. And what I mean by that is that I'm going to put my gel on my brows first. I'm just going to take the end of a spoolie. And then I'm going to take my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. This is like my holy grail product. I use this when I wear makeup and when I don't wear makeup. It's like a good amount of it. Make sure the wand is nice and wet and use the back of the wand to put the product onto my hair and then use the combs and the wand to comb my hairs up and I like to comb them up and over so they all stand on their own legs then drag it down Probably the biggest change in my makeup since the last time I did a tutorial is my brows and that I don't really like my brows to be the star of the show and they inevitably become the star of the show because I am making them so understated. Okay. Okay, so to correct the darkness around my mouth and like on the sides of my nose and a little bit under my eyes. I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Orange Color Corrector and just kind of draw like a little line around here. Down here. You can take your fingers, a sponge, blender, whatever to blend this out. I'm going to use a little blending brush. This brush is actually from ColourPop. It's their E2 blending brush. I really like it. Now I'm gonna go in with my, one of my favorite foundations. It's the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation in Macau. 
And I'm going to use a 159 blending brush by MAC to paint. Now for some added coverage in areas where I can still kind of see some darker areas on my face, I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty 420 concealer, which is my same skin tone color, and I almost always put it around this little mouth area, and then like some added coverage here and there. So for my concealer under my eyes, I'm going to take the Maybelline Instant Rewind Eraser. Put a few dots because you don't need much of this stuff. And then to brighten it a little bit more, I will take my Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in butterscotch just a little bit brighter then a beauty blending sponge it is damp this is by real techniques at Target Okay, so now that the concealer, the highlighting concealer is blended out, I'm gonna take my Black Opal Ebony Brown Foundation Stick and my 159 brush that I previously used and then just kinda get a little bit on there. And go ahead and do my perimeter. I'm just using this product to contour my face. You can see that. And then I pull back on the brush a little bit so that I'm able to blend it. And if you feel like this is harder for you to do with a brush, you can always go in with the Beauty Blender and do this step. Uh, I just use the brush. I'm really making it a point to do all of my wet products before I even go in and set anything so that I can blend perfectly while it's still emollient and mobile because <laughs> I didn't use many products that dry down too hard. For my nose I'm going to take a 217 by MAC and then the same product and go down the sides. up into the beginning of my brow. And I wanna make sure that I don't leave that line all the way to the tip. I'm gonna use a little bit of that contour and cut that nose off right there. So it doesn't extend it and make it look pointy 
which I don't have a pointy nose. I have a round nose. For added blending benefit, I'm gonna go with the butt of my little beauty blender here and then just blend off any excess. Now before I set my under eye, I'm gonna blend out those little creases that have settled there. And then I'm gonna take some Laura Mercier powder and do one even layer. All right, so just to blend everything else on my face, I'm gonna take a mineralized powder. This is MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. And a MAC 129 brush. Y'all know a MAC girl. Everything I have is pretty much MAC. Especially tools wise. I'm just gonna go all over and lightly blend and set everything here. Alrighty, and to bronze my face, bring back those contours. I think this is a Real Techniques blush brush, and then my Fenty bronzer in Coco Naughty. This right here is everything. I just take it, and I like using a fluffy brush for this because it's going to give me that nice bronzy glow without it being an obvious line. See that? There it is. I go in circles like I'm using it for blush. So I'll also go ahead and warm up my nose and then my crease. I'm gonna use my same E2 ColourPop brush. Side of the nose, up into the brow. That move will change our life. I'm going to take it into my crease as well. I have to blur all lines. For my under eyes, I'm gonna take the same Coco Naughty and a cleaner 217 and buff under here. So just to add a little bit of depth to my cheek area, I'm gonna take some NW58 and a Studio Fix Powder by MAC. And I'm going to warm up my cheeks with a little bit of pink blush. And I'm just taking that same blush brush. Using that. Okay. So for my brows, I'm going to take the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. And this is in the shade 4.5. Five, I think is much more rich, but 4.5 is still rich, but it has an ashier tone to it. So it's not gonna make them look dark. It'll just make them look perfect. And I don't actually fill them in. I just kinda outline them at the bottom only. Just enough to define them. And that's all. <laughs> Just 
find where they need to be evened out at. I'm not trying to do the most with my brows. I'm definitely trying to do the least with them. Brows are done. Voila magic. Okay, so off camera, I put on a pair of my favorite lashes and these are iconic number 16s. Yes, I do remember. What I'm gonna do is take this Jackie Ina palette. <laughs> I'm gonna take Credit, Ginger, and Edges mixed together to give me like a nice little medium um, in their crease color that I'm just gonna connect with my nose contour. And it'll give me a little bit more depth through here because I have a hooded lid. So I need to open that up just a little bit more than that one. Just wanted to do. I'm also going to take that color underneath my eyes, underneath here. I'm going to add some mascara and I'm using Benefit's Bad Gal Bang Mascara, which works just fine for me. cleaned off I'm going to use straight leaven smudge proof lip liner by the lip bar and because it is a smudge proof one when I, as soon as I put it on I'm going to make sure that I blend it out I don't want a line. Excellent waterproof lip liner. I'm gonna take one of my favorite lipsticks. Let's see, Patisserie, which is new neutral. This is by MAC. It is so moisturizing. I absolutely love this color. So, yay. We could stop here and this would be like a muted, understated, soft glam. Look. To add a little bit of glow on my cheek, I'm going to take my Sun Dipped Anastasia Glow Kit. And I'm going to use the bronzed one, which has four different. And then go across the top of my cheek and create that. Take a 224 MAC brush and do the tip of my nose right here. So my look is almost done. I'm going to take my Cover FX High Performing Setting Spray. I'm going to spray my entire face with this. So yeah, this look is done. I hope this answers most of the questions about my makeup. Um, this is the look that I'm wearing almost like 90% of the time. I may switch up foundations. I may add another one or um, replace the NARS Natural Radiance, but um, that's pretty much it. The lip is almost always gonna be a neutral pink or a neutral brown for me. And highlight is sometimes optional. Lashes are not. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this taught you something. So thank you so much for watching.